Welcome everyone to this fascinating exploration into the Mirai botnet attack of 2016. Today, we'll explore one of the most significant cybersecurity events that shook the digital world and exposed the vulnerabilities within our increasingly connected lives. In August 2016, the cybersecurity research group Malware Must Die uncovered an unprecedented threat, the Mirai botnet. Named after the Japanese word for future, Mirai initially targeted Minecraft servers to gain an edge in gaming. However, its creators, Paris Ja, Josiah White, and Dalton Norman, quickly realized the botnet's immense potential for widespread disruption. Mirai was designed to exploit IoT devices such as IP cameras, routers, and DVRs. By scanning the internet for devices with default factory settings and hard-coded usernames and passwords like admin and 12345, Mirai easily compromised these vulnerable systems. Once infected, these devices would report back to a command and control CNC server, creating a self-propagating network of compromised devices known as a botnet. The primary weapon in Mirai's arsenal was the distributed denial of service DOS attack. By overwhelming a target server or network with a flood of internet traffic, Mirai could render services unusable. The sheer size of the botnet and the bandwidth capabilities of the infected IoT devices made these attacks incredibly potent. The culmination of Mirai's disruptive power came on October 21, 2016. On this day, Mirai launched a significant DDoS attack against Dyn, a major domain name system DNS provider. The attack disrupted services for numerous high-profile websites, including Twitter, Reddit, Netflix, and Airbnb. Users across North America and Europe experienced outages and slowdowns, bringing widespread attention to the vulnerabilities within IoT security. The scale of the attack was unprecedented, reaching up to 1.2 terabits per second of traffic, making it one of the largest DDoS attacks recorded at the time. This event highlighted the immense power of botnets, leveraging IoT devices, and the critical need for enhanced security measures. Mirai's attack exposed significant security weaknesses in IoT devices. Many manufacturers shipped devices with default credentials, lacked robust security update mechanisms, and provided limited user configuration options, making these devices easy targets for attackers. In response, there was a push for better IoT security standards and practices. Governments and regulatory bodies began considering regulations requiring manufacturers to improve security features, such as unique default passwords and automatic security updates. The attack also heightened awareness among consumers and businesses about the importance of securing IoT devices. Users were encouraged to change default passwords, keep firmware updated, and segment IoT devices on separate networks to mitigate risks. In December 2017, the creators of Mirai, Paris Ja, Josiah White, and Dalton Norman pleaded guilty to charges related to the botnet. Their prosecution underscored the legal consequences of such cyber activities and highlighted the importance of law enforcement in combating cybercrime. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and help spread the word to support my channel. Remember to subscribe to stay up to date with my latest tech videos. Stay safe and happy computing.